when we meditate, we're trying to find some harmony between the, the body and the mind, the breath and the mind. So look into it. What breath would feel good for the body right now? What kind of breathing would be right for the mind? So you can keep these things together in a harmonious way. It's when they're harmonious that they can stay together for a long time. This is the same principle that operates inside and operates outside as well. The Buddha taught four principles for harmony outside. They're part of the, one of the chants that we do for the meal. It's good to think about what the chant says. Dana chabaiwa chancha. Start out with generosity. You gain something, you're happy to share it with others. Kind speech. This doesn't mean only saying nice things all the time. When the time comes to say something critical, you look for the right time, the right place. Show that you respect the person you're talking to, and that makes them a lot more likely that they'll be willing to listen. Atajriya, genuine help. And there are a lot of people who go through life helping in ways that look good and make an impression, but they're not really speaking to the genuine needs of the people they're helping. That kind of help doesn't go into the heart, it just sloughs right off. The kind of help where you really are looking into what do these people need, what do they want? What do I have that I can pro help provide their genuine needs? And that kind of help really does speak to the heart, it creates a sense of fellowship. And then finally, appropriateness. Treat each person appropriately and consistently. The people who deserve extra respect get extra respect. The people who deserve extra kindness get extra kindness. In other words, you don't just treat everybody the same way. You treat people as a, is appropriate to the case. And again, people will appreciate that. When you have that attitude, you follow through these four activities. It creates harmony in the group, and when there's harmony in the group, it's a lot easier for the practice. Because you're not constantly worrying about who's going to get, a, get upset by this or who's upsetting me by that. When the group can get together like this, okay, then there's, it stays together for a long time and it's for the benefit of everybody involved. So you think about those principles outside, you bring them inside. You give time to the breath. You speak nicely to the mind when it's not settling down. In other words, you speak in an appropriate way, showing that you respect it. Even when it's not behaving quite right, you, and you have to criticize it, you show some respect. You don't tell yourself that you're a miserable meditator and never make anything. Learn how to give yourself encouragement. You give genuine help. What does the mind really need right now? What does the body really need right now? And then you treat each, each breath, each moment of the meditation in an appropriate way. And that way harmony develops inside. And it can be lasting. It can go straight to the heart.